we go. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Lone Knight Gaming. This is uh, day three of us trying to raise funds for uh, the wildfires in Maui. Uh, if we hit 250, which is starting to see like a very high optimistic goal, um, I will play... Uh, oh, I set up the webcam too, but yet I didn't plug it in. That's alright. Uh, I can probably just do that real quick. We're just gonna ditch the webcam today, as it falls off the, uh, the stack of boxes, because I haven't set up a tripod for it yet, but, uh... Yeah, uh, 250, I'll sit through Alien Isolation, which is starting to seem... Like, I have not gotten anything good for it. Oh, what is EL? Voice off. Uh, how about off for that? Just in case. We'll just turn notifications off. I have no idea what's going on with that. But yeah, no, we're playing Pokemon Unite. Uh, I've been meaning to get back into this a little bit, I guess. It's just been a while. Uh, not very good, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is day three of our charity week. Um, you can use exclamation mark donate, or you can, uh... Or you can just hit the donate button and make sure that it's set to the charity, not to us as much as we would love the support. Um, I was kicked out of the lobby. Uh, as much as we would love the support, uh, just just like make sure we want. We just want to make sure that you're le that when you donate, you d you donate. And I realize I have a cake. Oh, I've been away for long. Too long. But, um, yeah. Let's see how this goes. I'm still a little rusty. Hopefully, uh, I don't get thrown into a weird roll right off the bat. Hopefully, I don't get kicked out of the lobby again. Oh. Oh, that's why I got kicked out of the lobby. They changed the screen, so I didn't see the ready. I'm so stupid. Okay. All-rounder and defender, you got I actually don't see what, what team members they chose, so I'll just go... No, I'll go Machamp. Uh, as Machamp all set, Machamp's all set. Uh, ready. Should I be concerned that we don't have a tank? I don't know. Uh, generally like all balanced teams, but you know what, I think we might be okay. We have the Goddess Blissey, uh, a lot of outfits. I have a full outfit team except for me, I feel a little left out. Um, I see three more outfits down there, so... We'll just, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully well. Ready? Oh my god, the map's different. Oh no. Oh, come on, please. Take one out. Take one out. 
Oh, I can't take it out. Oh, that's so sad. is going to be a pain. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Or is it? Okay, so we got the attack turnaround, but I need to flee because these guys are definitely going to kill me. We're going to get killed by Altaria, so I'm going to grab one of these. Fuck off, Swablu. Fuck off, Swablu. He really is just sleeping my own goal. What the heck? Yeah, no. Uh, dynamic punch. Ah, yes. Time to leave. And I'm asleep again. And this Snorlax is going to die. Hopefully. Yep. Perfect. Executed. Now, hopefully I can get to that goal, because I can't... Score, score, score... Yeah! They got it. Nice. It's kind of a sad thing when you see FPS 30 in like green lights, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but you know how it is. You know how it goes. Five bucks is we're all going bottom to get this. Didn't even need me there. So I'm just going to retreat. Maybe there's a bounce pad unlocked. Nope. Gotta run. Oh yeah, feels good. You do do that. I'm just gonna... Ah, shit. I've been ulted. Is it Rayquaza? I can't remember who the boss of this area is. I think it's Rayquaza. Oh, 
Oh, this is a this is a mess up. I messed up. I should have used the item and then Regirakuliki, but I messed up. Yeah, I messed it. I got a lot of damage in, but that was terrible. Oh, that was bad lag. Oh, that lag was so bad. Not escaping me, Snorlax. I missed the speed fruit. There we are, speed fruit. Yeah, feeling it. Probably up here. If I support the Blissey's advance, I will have a shot. Probably not the best idea, actually. Oh, and of course, Rayquaza's here. So what we want to do is we want to kill the fucking Snorlax. Actually, let's go, uh... Fuck this up. Yeah, sure. I'll fuck it up. That's just what I'm built for. Yeah, Snorlax isn't retreating anytime soon. Let's see. Yep, it's dead. Okay, this game's basically in the bag for us, hopefully. As long as we don't mess this up, it's in the bag. Let's see if I can get the... Back ones are all nice and clean for another successful victory. Hopefully. I think we crushed it. Like, I think we did really well. Also, nice to know that I still kind of got it. Like, I didn't do perfect that round, don't get me wrong, but I still decently got it. Let me just close my door real quick. Ah! Ah! Oh no! 
Okay. Alright. A defender? Sure. Ah, uh, yeah. All the items correct. Sorta? No, I think I do want the potion, because my objective is to absorb a lot of the damage. Is this the same Blissey, or did that just come out in an event, I wonder? being too ruthless. What did I do to the swine of for its design? Like, jeez! Oh, it's a Sylveon EV. Interesting. I am terrible. Yeah, we're going to die here, there's no mistake. Let me just use a premature potion. Bye, Yumi. Yeah, no, bye, Snorlax. I probably should have killed the uh, Altaria, but you know what, it's fine. Oh, is the Eevee back? Yep. Perfect. Fell right for my trap. Oh, there's a Gengar here. Or, Gengar. Ghastly. Soon to be Gengar, but Ghastly nonetheless. Nice. Oh, why did I do that? I, I saw that he was there, and yet I decided to walk right into it, like the dumbass I am. Oh, no, you don't. Ow. I got just Cromorant. I'm I'm watching your back. We're off by one. That's embarrassing. Uh, I believe I go with high horse tower. Yeah. Yep. High horsepower is the high horsepower. Hell yeah. Let me just score real quick. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. I messed up. Probably. Nope! It's gonna be okay. Oh my god, how- this Gengar is so fast. Haunter, no! Oh, jeez. Alright, cool. We did it.
I'll take that. What's the pussy doing? Yeah, I contributed. You see that one Pokeball right there? Yeah, I'm something of a team player. <laughs> I contributed one Pokeball. <laughs> in this bush. Interesting. Well, might as well get it started. Because let's say so this is the plan. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... that was crazy. That was insane. That was fun. We're coming for you, Absol. I'd be faster to go down. Absol, no. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh! They're not gonna be happy about that one. <laughs> Scared me, Gengar. Gengar, no. They are definitely in trouble, but one Rayquaza could be all it takes. We did good. We did good today. This game, uh, we kind of got carried. Carried? Carried's not the right word. 
uh, kind of crushed it in uh, this one at least. We we really crushed it. Top is gone, but you know that that was my responsibility. I will not let this final top goal go. No, you don't get to friggin' do that. No, get back here. You don't get to do that. This is my responsibility. Now. Oh, right. That's how that works. I fucking... I have terrible aim with that. Holy crap. No. Get... No. No. Nuh-uh. Nah, uh, uh I'm so sad I missed out on the Night Mammal Sign skin. It is like one of my favorite skins I've ever seen, and I missed out on it. I'm so upset. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my. We take those. Uh, next. I want to go to the main menu. I don't know what those little player things are. are. Those like bands? What are they? Are they perk points? Am I missing out on? So sorry if I I don't I don't I don't think I seem low energy today, but like. Uh, yeah. Tuxedo style cromorant. Right? Yeah. When does that reset out of curiosity? Uh, let's see. These reset. I have 12 hours. I don't know when it resets, but, you know. I think it resets every day? I'm not sure how that works. I'm not familiar with that. Okay, sure. Uh, sure? Why not? One more time. Sure. Yeah. Not sure how this Mewtwo thing works, but I think I'm doing it right. Will I ever, uh, get used to rank protection card? Uh, look, 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 look. I don't need my rank protected. I, I think that the challenge should come from being not, I don't, I don't want to say, I actually don't want to finish this statement. <laughs> This is what happens when I stream alone. I just like, I don't say unhinged things, but like I definitely uh, could be better. Maybe I'll do a little bit of save alive today. Oh, do I have the performer limited time? How do I get that? Battle Wait, I don't like this setup. We seem pretty weak. Yeah, no, we seem a little weak. Let me go back to, uh... Let me go back to Amazon.
yeah, yeah, we seem a lot better now. A lot of this game is kind of playing the things you want to play, but like, I feel like if if I didn't go Mammo Slime, we would have been easily, easily killed. We have to. Oh, oh no, oh no! I got gotcha. you. What are they doing? Oh geez, hold on, Froki, I got your back. Why is no one doing the things? He always killed the things. Wait, how come you can just score like that? That's not fair. Wait, what's he doing? There we go. Oh, it's because he has like two points, I see. That's an interesting strategy to go for, actually. Keep your score intentionally low. Unfortunately, uh, Mammal Swine don't play by those rules. Oh god, they're all up there. Note to self, that goes through. Stop. Okay, so maybe I should, someone should go up. Let's see how this works out. Thanks, Roki. Now let me leave. <sighs> I love Mammoth Swine. He's such a stolly boy. Uh, should I help Top? Yeah, let me help Top a little bit. Bomb seems okay. Let me see what I can do for up here, because they're all gonna swarm up here in a second. Okay, there we go. That's the that's a setup. No, no, no crab hammers. Stop. Okay, now we go go up here, and we gotta take care of Virgil Lucky, and they're not gonna take care of Virgil Lucky, are they? No. How do I signal Reggie Lucky again? I don't know how to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Of course they're right fucking here. Ow. I'm being blocked. Ah, this is this is t awful. Ow, this sucks. This is god awful. Okay, I got one of them. Whoa, 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 and we're everyone's trying to be the superstar, and it scares me. Okay, I guess we're just ignoring Regieleki. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Oh my 
god. Okay. All right. Jeez. Hopefully nothing's happening in chat right now because I can't see. As far as I'm concerned, I have no viewers. Hopefully I can. I'm gonna see if that's still the same. It probably is, but you know what? That's fine. Oh my god, I have 40 points. Why can't I ever turn them in? How do they get here so quickly? <laughs> Ow. Hey, charging's my thing. How do you like that? Oh, he's snoring. Oh my god, please. Sir, you need to stop. Humble request. Oh, actually, I didn't even mean to hit that, and yet I did. Ow. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. That's... I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Jesus. Please, just let me score my points. <laughs> oh my god, please. <laughs> I just want to dunk a basketball. <laughs> Ah, Jesus. Okay, fine. 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 Oh my god, old time again. I'm going to die, but it's fine. It's fine. I just wanted to score my basketball points, but no, I'm not going to score my basketball points today. I'm just going to live. Alright. We take those. I just want to score my basketball points. I just want to score my basketball points. God damn it, there's enemies everywhere! Wait. It's not gonna let me score my basketball points. I, mean, I could probably kill him, but I don't want to. Eh, uh, no. No. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. No, you're not scoring. No. Fuck off. I knocked him into a berry. I'm so fucking stupid. God damn it. Okay. Please. For the love of God, let me score one point. <laughs> did I point? No, I did not point. Cool. Now let me point. I'm not gonna point because it's 50 points. Oh my god, finally! Oh! <laughs> timed. I'm not mad, it was timed. Perfectly. They are just going top. They are going to score and delete that goal. So I need to intercept them, hopefully here. Yeah, they're gonna try to destroy that goal before they do anything middle. Looks like it. No, I think they're healing up and then going middle. Okay. Yeah, they're starting to go middle. Okay, we gotta hurry this up. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, no, they're just gonna go top. There's no point in them going for a Rayquaza right now, if we can all... Uh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, Greninja, I'm coming. Did they actually get the real Greninja? Holy crap, they got the real Greninja. Did they get it? And, of course, they are... We're fucked. Okay, that's fine. Up a little bit. I think we still won. 
by like a lot, but like I'm surprised no one killed Rayquaza. I think it was just like a straight honest game. I, I hopefully say. I think it's an honest game, at least. Yay. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to pay, show proper class and just thumbs up. Alright. Yeah. Battle mission success. Alright, I think I scored 300 points. I Let me check the map again. Which one's the cave sing? I think this is the cave sing. No, that's a tournament. Where are my caves? That sounds weird. Okay. Tar is a weird one. But then again, so are so is just the concept of boost medals, I guess, when you really get down to it. Everybody's all stylish, and yet I'm looking at myself and I'm being like, uh... 
Uh, an all-rounder, you say? Uh, I, 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 I think I think it's fine to be Sableye this round. Let me see if I battle prepped him correctly. Uh, I think I want to give him an attack because he's not gonna he's not a tank, so he's not gonna tank it out. No one can see me. It's the Psychic Fairy versus the Ghost Dark. A team for the ages. Burn to death, aren't I? Is that an enemy? That's an enemy. Oh, that is an enemy. Whoops, and I forget that's what that does. So this is a... This is a fucking... Depressing failure. That's alright. It's okay. I will be around to help you shortly, my friend. Because Sableye is a fast... Is a fast ghost. And just like that, we are here. God damn it. No! Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, our goal is gonna break, for sure. This is terrible. I gotta remember how knockoff works, so it goes forward and then back. Interesting. Do I use an attack? I think I use Confuse Ray. Yeah, I think I used Confuse Ray. I think my uh, settings got messed up. I wish I had an undo.
Oh yeah, this is a terrible round for Sableye. I like how I go straight from a round of, uh... What the f... Hey, it's a... Where did he flash? What's happening? I told you what was happening. I need to burp. Okay. Go do it. Oh, man. Gamer gear. Am I right, fellas? I guess so. Where, where are we dropping? Not here. Oh, I really fucked oh, up, wow. actually. Twitch is, Twitch is um, upgrading. Now they have the... Uh, when ads are playing, they have the actual stream on the side in the smallest possible screen they could have put it in. Oh, that's just how it goes. It's like, we know you want to really watch the stream right now. But first, you need to watch an ad for something you will never play. And I cannot for. get rid of that, so. No, of course not. Like, that's just I mean, at least we don't have, like, ads running during the show. Mm, I don't know about that. We don't. We shouldn't. Okay. I set it up specifically to have ads not run during the show. I hope. I, I don't know. I don't typically check enough to really see if they've run during the show. Anyway. Okay. Um. It's just the screen. Like, look, picture in picture in picture, totally fine. Did you have to make it so small? I can't see the screen. Who needs eyes? Like, I, I think you're clearly not seeing the point here. Eyes are just outdated. I think, Kevin, I think the point is I can't see the point. What? Like, I can't see I'm... the thing I'm trying to focus on, so yeah, I can't see the point. Wow. That's a conundrum, and you get to see me be terrible, so... I mean, look, what kind of game is this? A MOBA? It's pretty much. Yeah, it's a MOBA. If you're good at a MOBA, that's... I actually destroyed every single match except this one, so this is very embarrassing for me. How is bear with it? Um, I mean, is it any more embarrassing than uh, Tyrus's final professional wrestling match? I'm just Depends. kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tyrus's whole career was embarrassing. Oh, all right. I didn't realize we were firing shots in this episode. Well, for context, Kevin, and the reason why I'm being as harsh as I am. Because typically, like, even with really bad wrestlers, like, I try to bolt back because, hey, look, that shit's hard. Um, Tyrus is, was basically a spokesperson for the National Wrestling Alliance, which used to be the large, the wrestling company back in the 40s. Um, <laughs> yep. For, actually, yeah, up until, like, the 70s, probably. I'm not really sure when they started to go downhill. But, um... Yeah, Tyrus was basically the spokesperson. I say spokesperson as if, like, he was doing commercials. No, he was going on Fox News. Oh, no. Yeah. That's always a good start. Uh, oh, it gets worse. Um, yeah, for some reason, whoever brought back the, NW, the NWA to what it is really, really leaned hard into the conservative crowd. Oh, my. Oh my. Yeah. And it shows with who he chose to be world champion. So he put it on another guy named, I think it's, his name's Trevor Murdoch. Yeah, Trevor Murdoch, who's just a fucking fat, red headed, 
bearded trucker looking motherfucker from the south so who was, who was trained by a pro wrestler who was part of the kkk in real life i i just, just gets, all just the shocking worse. stuff comes out on the charity stream doesn't it <laughs> I, I got i got content for you i was I not ready for that for i was generally thought I genuinely thought I was going to be alone today, and well... Nope. This Pokemon Charity stream is brought to you by <laughs> me shit-talking <laughs> the NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance. Well, fuck. Or the... Uh, the this... I actually don't know what the A... Does the A stand for Alliance? NWA Wrestling. Uh, it could be like yep. Assembly or something. No, it's Alliance, I just checked. Okay. Um... So yeah, Save that's who their world champion was for a bit. And then Tyrus won. Now you're thinking, okay, is he better? Well, not that Trevor Murdoch was good in the ring, but Tyrus wasn't better. He was a lot worse. Mm -hmm. um, not to be mean to bigger guys, because I'm a bigger man myself, and I get it. And there's plenty of big dudes in wrestling who can move. Tyrus is not one of them. Um, and I'll get into that when I discuss his last match, because I've watched bits of it, and it's really, really hard to watch. But, alright. He goes on Fox News. He probably just, like, says a few things, whatever. Talks about the company, tries to promote. Nope. This dude is full-on in discussion. Openly admit that if his kids quote-unquote, had pronouns, he would beat them. So he's that kind of guy. So you're not supposed to like this dude at all. Don't like him at all. Yep. This, isn't, this isn't a work. This is just who he is as a person. I said this time I'd like to remind you that you can donate. <laughs> <laughs> Please donate. We really need the money. No, um, for, no it's for actually, Hawaii. We don't need the money. We don't need it. Not, well... We, we really... It's not us that needs the money. Yeah. But we really appreciate if you donated, please. To the charity, of course. Yes. Oh, my God. Well. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa, it's Magmar? Is that his name? Yeah, Magmar. So, there's, it's weird. Magmar, I don't think Magmar is in the game. I think Magmar oh, no. is a... Uh, could have sworn I did that. I'm off by 55. Magmar is uh, an emblem. They haven't added Magmortar to the game. They decided to do, like, bonus equipment called medals. So, yeah. I, I haven't looked too much into it. So, I'm just playing the game with what I got and what I had set up. And I set up Sableye wrong, I think. It's funny, Magmar is one of like the few Gen 1 fire types I can think of. Not that there aren't a lot, it's just I feel like Gen 1 it doesn't have as many fire is types. Is Magmar Gen 1? No, yeah, because yeah, Magby's Gen 2. Yes. But it's so weird, because like, he's one of the more I quote-unquote iconic, because he's just more so one of the more recognizable Gen 1 Pokemon in my eyes. But also, like... He's just a fire duck thing. Like, he, he's just a lamer Charmeleon. Am I going to argue with that? I mean, I just felt the wails of a thousand Magmar fans being like, how dare you? Well... I'm sure all five of them will show up. And I'm sure they'll let us know about it. <laughs> nah, he's not a bad Pokemon. Not even by design. It's just, I feel like... He's considering what the other, he, He's derpy looking. And especially because the other fire types of that generation are a lot cooler looking. Yeah. And for fuck's sake, this is the generation that gave us freaking Arcanine. Like, yeah. yeah. Arcanine, uh, Ninetales... Going, and we don't need to bring up the Charmander line of Pokemon. Of course. It's like the one line that everyone references. 
Oh my god, how did everyone select their characters so quickly? I was not ready for this. Flareon is from Gen 1, Rapidash. Like, shit. Rapidash and Bunny Dot, that's another great line of Pokemon right there. I like I like this dude. He's cool. Mammoth Swine? Yeah, he, he's a fun looking Pokemon. What gen is he from? He's fourth. He's the evolution of Swine Up and Pillow Swine. That's right. He, I I love Mammoth Swine. He has a knight outfit, but I did not <laughs> do the uh, the tournament stuff, so I never got him. Because I generally only play this game with like my friend who stopped playing this game, so. Oh, there's a Mew. I forgot Mew was a yeah. thing. For this gen, for this game, I mean. I, I like this Venusaur right here. He's got the freaking little Hawaiian shirt on. Yeah, that's the first thing you unlock, I believe. You get like a little relaxed vacation bulbous Venusaur. Sorry. Venusaur. I mean, yeah, Venusaur. Uh, you have Pirate Zacian and you have Samurai Charizard. There's also a Night Charizard, too. Like they, it. they do a lot of outfits right in this game. Uh, me and my <laughs> friends... I'll show you this in a second, but me and my friends bought a Battle Pass specifically for... Uh, what we only can describe as Hip Hop Pikachu, I believe. <laughs> I love it. Also, just because he's here, and I feel like I have, I have to mention it... Um... I feel like Mr. Mime is the Pokemon everybody rips on, and I totally understand why, because he's the most jarring. Oh, yeah. Don't be wrong, like, there are, there's probably weirder Pokemon than Mr. Mime at this point, but it's still a weird one. Mr. Mime is annoying in this game, from what I remember. And, of course, Zacian's just going to try to go in for the kill, I think. Do it. Um. Yeah. No, Zacian, get back here. I'm not a healer. So wait, I thought MOBAs were like team based. They are. Like in terms of like, I mean like multiplayer team. They are. But like your team is not just you controlling multiple. Oh, is this just you? No, no, You're no. Just this I Pokemon? am the swine up. Everybody else is their own character. Okay, I wasn't sure what the situation was. It's it's I just, I'm new to this, and I just kind of assume they were all you, and you were- No, them no, no, weird. that would- Oh my god, if I could control Zacian, Swineup, and the people on the top row, hell no. That would be nightmarish. Like, AI takes over for a little bit, and you get to, like, swap. Yeah. Just, like, freaking single-player Marvel Ultimate I mean, Alliance. There probably is a, uh, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. That would be a fun game, though, I will say. I think the closest you'll get to that is Rumble Arena or whatever the Pokemon Rumble games were. Oh, yeah. The ones for, like, the Wii where your toys. Yeah, Ow, yeah. this mime is hurting me. It was funny. I remember when they first announced they were making a Ruby game. My earliest prediction was, like, it's going to be similar to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I, I don't know what those types of games are technically called, but, like, you can have four playable yeah. characters... You can swap out between which one you want to play in that moment. I'm... And that was almost right. Yeah. They have, I... they have a similar gameplay style in terms of actual combat, but I don't think they have the same style of swapping out. Characters. I will consider them... Uh... I'll consider them beat-em-ups, honestly. Like, not 2D beat-em-ups, but like, you still... Yeah, they're, they're 3D beat-em-ups, yeah. yeah. But it's still very different because like you're swapping out between different characters in in the Ultimate Alliance games and yes, the Xbox Ultimate Alliance games. But man, that would have been good for Ruby. I feel like like just a single player game. Well, he doesn't necessarily have to be single player, but just like if you're alone, you don't have friends at the moment. Like me. I'm just kidding. Um, wow. You say this on a show with a friend. <laughs> I was mostly saying this in regards to when the first Ruby game came out. Oh, but, okay. Um, because like in that game, you, you just pick whichever of the main characters you want to play as, and then you just go on an adventure. Ah, yes. And like it was fine. It played well. It was definitely their first game. Um, <laughs> Are we talking about Rooster Teeth Ruby, by the way? Yes. I got confused. For some weird reason, I thought you were talking about Pokemon Ruby, and then I was like, you're not. You're clearly not. 
there is a 0% chance, Kevin. Why are you even thinking this? But that's uh, where my brain you, went. Or were you a Ruby kid or a Sapphire kid? I was a Sapphire kid. Kyogre is one know. of my favorite uh, Hoenn legendaries. I do agree Kyogre is better, but I always played Ruby more. Yeah. I don't know, red always red always drew me in for some reason. Well, red is like the taunt color. It's like, oh, you're challenging me to play Pokemon? <laughs> I show a bowl a copy of uh, Ruby, and he would run right at me. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even have to be up close. You could see you from a fucking mile away. The little GBA cartridge. You'd be like, yeah. that motherfucker. I want to no, of course, him. we all played. I, I'm hoping we have all played uh, Emerald. As well. Yeah, of course. I have Emerald. I actually never finished Emerald, but I've played Emerald. Actually, so no, Emerald... that's a lie. I finished an Emerald Soul Lock with a friend. So it has been some time since I've played Emerald. Does that have all the Pokemon just put into, like, all like, the Gen 3 Pokemon instead of splitting them up into two different games? Pretty much. That's generally the whole deal of it, yeah. Got it. I, I wasn't sure what the situation was. Uh, there's a whole new storyline, too, I guess, where, like... Well, yeah, I imagine since it's focused on Rayquaza, who's... Definitely the cooler of the three Hoenn legendaries. The main three, I should say, because there's multiple. I'm running away. Were the Reggies Gen 3 or were they Gen 4? They were Gen 3. They were really <laughs> hard to unlock because you had to learn how to read Braille. Yeah, which I think is really interesting and I also think is really... You also had to have a specific Pokemon in a specific slot. So not only did you have to have... Uh... Not only did you have to have... um, What was it? A Whalmer and a Relkanath, you had to have them in like ah oh, fuck. That's terrible. That's bad. That's really bad. All, all, all that all that work to get the most mid legendaries possible. And then they added uh Reggie Gigas, which is still kind of like ant, eh, but like when he's, you get him start up and built, oh man. He's a cool he's a cool design and an, I'm I've heard like once he gets going in the fight, he's great, but I've yeah. heard like the start of the fight with Regigigas is terrible. But he's just... You're, you're better off using literally any of the other Regis. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. But, like, if you can and get him built right, like you baton pass or something, he becomes unstoppable. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, my God, this Mr. Mime. Sorry. <laughs> this how Mr. About, Mime uh, is, like, fucking murdering everything in sight. How do you feel about... What's his face? The Oxus. Uh... Deoxys will lose to Sableye. Like, honestly, like, I played Emerald and, like, Ruby, or Omega Emerald and Omega Ruby. Uh, they could not handle Sableye because they only gave Deoxys Psychic and Normal-type moves to attack. Oh, jeez. And if you don't know Sableye's matchup, uh, Sableye is a Dark Ghost-type. Yeah. And guess what doesn't work against ghost types? Normal types. What doesn't work against uh, dark types? Psychic types. Guess what Deoxys moves only consist of? That's right. Moves that Sableye's immune to. <laughs> it's funny because... Have you seen Destiny of Deoxys, the movie? Uh, I did not. Uh, excuse me. First of all, that's... It's not that it was a good movie per se. Mostly because, you know, it's a Pokemon movie, so they're yeah, not really that good. <laughs> Except for the first three, they were great. Um, but like in Destiny of the Oxus, they built him up to well, build. I don't know if that was one of the gender, but they, they built, built him up to up. be like they built it up to be like this badass legendary. Like no one fucks with the Oxus. Like Requaza, yeah. Requaza or whatever his name is. Even even Requaza can't fuck with this guy. Yeah, Requaza. And you like kind of look at his, you can look at his stats and it's like. Legendary Pokemon kind of fucking sucks. Especially when, like, you remember that they split uh, the Oxus into, like, four different categories. Oh, yeah, right. I thought it was three. I didn't. I can't remember four. Well, is there normal Deoxys? Then there's attack, defense, and then I special? I think normal defense? Deoxys... No, it's attack and defense, and then normal, I believe. Speed. Speed is the one. Speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You know, because he's going for distance. He's going for shit... <laughs> yeah, seriously. Speed. I should. My girlfriend's super into uh, Pokemon, like, like, like competitive Pokemon. I should ask her what she thinks of Deoxys. Oh my god, dude. What? That is a rabbit hole. 
you're not ready for. Yeah, no, we, we've gone into, I say arguments, it's mostly her ranting. We've gone into conversations about Pokemon. She's just like, oh, I really like this Pokemon. He's my, I really like them. And then she's like, they're trash. It's just, I, I, I tried playing with them I am so fucking terrible. stupid. Why did I do this? This is dumb. This is the dumbest thing. I'm going to die. Actually, I'm going to probably take out the Lucario. I'm going to die to the Lucario. It's like, yeah, I, I've asked her which Pokemons are good and which ones are bad and competitive, and I'm just heartbroken that most of my favorite Pokemon are absolute garbage. Yeah. Also like how it points out, hey, you're really struggling. Actually, let's see. Might like, be able to kill Deoxys actually and be okay. Like, I'm not shocked. Like Lapras isn't really good in tournaments, like competitive. I'm not Water shocked. Water Ice, yeah. Well, like, I love Lapras. It's such a great Pokemon design. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, no, we should have surrendered. Because now they got the Deoxys and it's over. Yeah. Or the Rayquaza. I mean, their, I mean, that's their destiny. Deoxys. No, I, I meant. Oddly enough, I actually meant to say Rayquaza there. Hmm. My mistake. <laughs> I've been working on the McCorkle TikTok page. Yep. Uh, I'm really upset because I made I made a I uploaded one clip, which I, in my mind I'm like this will make a great TikTok sound, and it only has six views. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Honestly, so, uh, it's literally a bit from the first episode they ever filmed where Nick's looking at a corpse in the room. He just goes, like, like, like his face in the clip, he's freaking out, but his narration just goes, This dude's dead. It just made it just makes me laugh every time I see it. Yeah, I've also like, I've been on a mission to watch every episode of the show and find at least one. TikTok worthy clip because in my mind I'm like no Nick if you're watching the show please don't be mad uh <laughs> every episode of McCorkle has at least one funny moment but not every episode of McCorkle is a winner yeah I know and look it happens uh there's only one episode I think I really don't have anything which is, I mean, hey, out of, like, 20 episodes that they've made, yeah, that's pretty good. The only one of them is kind of just not great in terms of TikTok There value. are two of the same player on the top team. I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, twins. Yeah. <laughs> They're in sync. But anyways, no, I get that. Just, uh... I don't know. Maybe I'll do some... Actually, uh, for context, is... the episode in question is Boring Correspondent, and we've discussed the episode the other night. I will not explain what happens in this episode per se. I say that as if we haven't already discussed a lot of controversial things. Ooh, of Snorlax. Course. Yes, I'll, I'll do some Snorlax. Unless... Snorlax is easily one of the best Pokemon ever made. Oh, yeah. Or... Even Munchlax is one of the best, like baby Pokemon. One of the best pre-evolution. Oh, yeah. God. I love them. I like the laxes. They're lax. They're chill. Snorlax is my vibe, and I just wish I could emulate it. Yeah. Snorlax is chill, even though I don't think he learns <laughs> any ice moves. Except Ice Punch. Never mind. He's good. No, no, I, I thought he did. He does learn Ice Punch. I corrected myself. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm actually, going... <laughs> I do have... I do have... I think either four or five clips from a Corkle lined up to upload for tomorrow. Or no, throughout the next few days, Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, oh yeah, for thir for tomorrow on Thursday, um, I have a clip of Chris just drinking water over and over again, because that's how one of the episodes opens. Oh yeah. I'm just going to caption it, hashtag thirsty Thursday. <laughs> oh my god. No, one of my, I don't know if I should tell this story. One of my coworkers, we were talking about like the dentist and like fluoride toothpaste because me and my coworker have to take special fluoride toothpaste. And and like the other coworkers like, man, 
I wonder why they don't give me that. And it's just like, well, you can't have water with it. And she's like, oh, I can't, I can't do that. I need to have my water. I'm like, how much water do you drink? And she's like, and she's like, no, it's fine. You just take it before you go to bed. And she's like, no, you don't understand. I go up for like four times in the night to get water. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Crocky's <laughs> boys not piss himself. Yeah. And then we're like, okay, well, but like realistically, like, what's the time frame? Because I think after an hour you're good. And it's like, nope. And then she went on to explain, it and we were basically like, yeah, you should never use fluoride toothpaste. <laughs> She's like, don't. Oh, do I use fluoride? I don't know. Hello. I'm here. I'm straight. I'm already in charge. Uh, what? Um. I mean, I don't know how to break this to you, my friend, but unfortunately to the to the community, I'm also <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, are we getting a, an announcement? <laughs> the truth come out. Does Kevin is straight? <laughs> no. Uh, sure. Nah, it's... It, it, I do want to say it is funny. Like... I have had, I don't know, I've mentioned the, that, like, more guys say I'm cute than, like, girls do, right? Uh-huh. Definitely, yeah. But no, I was just making a joke on the whole, like, I'm here, I'm queer, get used to it thing. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm here, oh, I'm shit. Here. You really guys, don't have to that. Oh, yeah, right, that's tonight. But I'm yeah. inside like a loser. And unfortunately, where I am, it's still kind of low and covered by clouds, so... Yeah, bullshit. unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Jack, we were discussing, um... What the fuck were we talking about before, Kevin? Uh, fluoride toothpaste. That's... <laughs> I remember that part. Was there something before fluoride toothpaste, or are we going back to maximum McCorkle stuff? <laughs> it's just... I think McCorkle is where we left off. But before we Wait. do move on to that topic... What color of mouthwash do you use? Blue. Well, like, the antiseptic blue or just regular blue? Ah, oh, I have no idea. Because that's the thing. At least with, like, like the main brands, the color actually indicates what it does. Like, the purple is, uh, flora. Ah. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find this. Kevin, I was telling Kevin about a pro wrestler who just recently retired and how the wrestling community is relatively happy about this. Who? Uh, uh, a guy named Tyra. He's appeared on Fox News a number of times, and he's just kind of a prick. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Oh man, the slow poke's good. And I maxed out my points. I have to do this very stealth. I'm not gonna be able to get past that Snorlax. I have returned. Um. So yeah, no, this guy, he's he was given the. NWA World Heavyweight Championship, which many wrestling fans consider to be like the heavyweight title, like the original. Uh huh. And this dude would take it on air on Fox News, talk about how he would beat his kids if they were trans or anything like that. Oh, so he's a shit. Just a piece of shit. Do you want, to, Jack, since you're here and Kevin can't really see this, do you want to see the masterwork of Tyrus's wrestling? Hold on. Wait one moment. All right, send it. <laughs> oh, it's in the group chat. Uh, doesn't come up with anything when I try to open it. The uh, Twitter? Mm-hmm. Like it loads Twitter, but it says uh, this page doesn't exist. Huh? Strange. 
can't it's escape serious. me, slow bro. Get the fuck back here, slow bro. God damn it. Did y'all have any thoughts on what I sent to the members text? I can't no, look I at didn't members text. Read it. Uh, let me send this real quick, see if this one works. Unless it's the same one. Yep, this is good. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can't believe they've yeah. done this. <laughs> I'm really dead by daylight subreddit. Really dead by daylight subreddit has been divided into two equally terrible factions. The first is all the monster fuckers crawling out of their holes to, the, to thirst over the xenomorph. What? The xenomorph queen, specifically. What? Yes. What? The second, the second is a bunch of is a bunch spreading a copy pasta about how the grid xenomorph skin is from AVP and how that might hint at future content. Also, everyone agrees the Xenomorph Queen is basically a paid to lose skin, but it's still worth it. Because she's like an extra third of the height taller than the Z regular Xenomorph. Hmm. Like, granted, she looks bigger in the lobby than she actually is in the game, but she's still like her head crest, like alone, makes her a good deal taller than the regular skin. Oh yeah, did that second link I sent work? Yes. Uh, what did you think? Uh... Now look, uh, as a, as a non-pro wrestling fan... Yeah. What'd you think? Uh... As a, as a pro wrestling fan, I could say... That shit's for the birds. And, um, also, that's what all of his matches look like. Just him awkwardly, like, pinning somebody? Because it looked really awkward. He's just... And look, it's nothing against how big he is. He just clearly is an athletic. And doesn't do anything to really make it work. But there's lots of big lumbering idiots that get into wrestling, and a lot of them do something. Occasionally. Yeah. Ray Kali sometimes moves. I was gonna try to join Kevin in Pokemon Unite, but I haven't played this game in quite a while. So Neither have I, I honestly. I've just gotta do a pretty big update. Oh yeah, for sure. What's the update? No, um, Mewtwo. Like software updates. Like I don't know. I haven't played it in a while. They added Mewtwo basically, and Dope. Mew apparently, and a lot of things, and Sylveon and Umbreon. Pick your Eon. They probably have it. A Beyond? Beyond Beef? Beyond Burger? No. Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, that is an ultimate of Zerorua. I don't think I've ever had Beyond Beef before. Keep forgetting Zorora is a Pokemon sometimes. That's not a Pokemon, that's someone's furry OC. It's a Pokemon, that is someone's furry OC for sure. I mean, I think part of it is he was distributed weird, which kind of like made him fall he, between the uh, He was added to, uh, everyone got a free shiny one in, uh, whatchamacallit, Sword and Shield, which is also kind of Yeah, that's my point. Like, if you're gonna give out a shiny mythical Pokemon to literally everyone, it kind of depletes its, like, value and interest. Don't get me wrong, the furries seem to love it, but other than that... I mean, he's Lightning Lucario, I mean, what else do you want? That, yeah, I mean, that's something put up. It, you switch Lucario to a cat instead of a dog and change his element to Lightning, yeah, it's, that's what ex it, Zero or is. It's like if Raikou and Lucario had a baby, which some people are now thinking um, about. There's definitely fan art for that. <laughs> Uh, do you prefer regular Raichu or Alolan Raichu? I like Alolan, honestly. Alolan's pretty cool. Oh, he's really cool. But I almost wonder if it's because we're so used to... You know what I think it is why I prefer Alolan Raichu? I think the show turned me off of the idea of regular Raichu. Because my really? little kid brain could not understand why Ash refused to evolve his Pikachu, so I thought it must be because Raichu sucks. See, in my mind, the yeah. show... Because Raichu shows up at some points in the show, and the show made me really like Raichu. No. I was like, oh, 
You see, what, could be bad. what happened is Ash knows about the light ball, which only increases Pikachu's special attack and makes Pikachu good. <laughs> which, which honestly, Ash could also have an Eevee light, so either works. All right, let me get back to the main menu here. Let me see if I can complete my tasks. Damn it! Hold on, that's tournament again. I don't want to go into tournament. Oh yeah, the other oh, yeah. thing we're currently shitting on Dead by Daylight about in the sub-edit is the fact that the flavor text for cosmetics have gotten really lazy. Oh no. For example, this is the all the the only text on the body part of the Xenomorph space out like skin. It moved quickly and silently through the ship. That's it. <laughs> And it's like, it's become a bit of a trend recently where people are pointing out that the flavor text has gotten really lazy. Oh my god, I have to get a hundred coins? My god. Sorry, I'm, wa I'm watching a TikTok where the caption is, The CIA eating Amelia Earhart's corpse just to blame it on a crab. What? Coconut crabs were innocent. Oh, Kevin, for context, uh, we're all, most people are pretty... I'm pretty much certain that, um... Amelia Earhart died on impact in a crash and that her body was eaten by coconut crabs. Or if she didn't Did die on impact, she died, like, she died of the elements on an island. And then was eaten by coconut crabs. Yes. That's assuming she even made it to an island and didn't just crash into the ocean. Yeah. It's not fun. I mean, either way, it's not fun. People consider that fun? <laughs> no. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, this is so mean. What? It's just an image of a dog and someone commented, is he ugly on purpose? What the fuck? How dare they? <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> this meme has made a bit of a resurgence. Oh, uh, hold on. Fuck? Did Reddit do something where it won't let me copy images anymore? Probably. Also, Jack, I, I put a picture of the dog in the group chat. Why is it just called Uglo? Oh. I mean, he does look like he's got, like, the human eyes from, uh, the shaggy dog. Oh, yeah, he does. I hate that. I hate that you pointed it out. Fuck you, Shaggy Reddit. I'm screenshotting now. You think I won't do take images just because you tell me? It, 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 it's... It's fucking... It's the right-click argument with NFT bros. It's like... Oh, yeah, never mind. You have to, oh, that's so stupid. You have to go into the share menu for the post. And you can't, like... Holding down on the image doesn't do it anymore. You have to click share on the post and then you can copy and save image. That's really dumb. That's really bad UI design. Uh, I mean, it's Reddit. Come on. All this just to share this one meme that's existed before the Xenomorph chapter but is now being revived by the Xenomorph chapter. How would he wear a hat? Although in the, original comic, in the original comic I saw, there was a third option where it's spread over the entire head. Like, it's stretched. Like, that's the most logical, but why? Well, it's the most logical in terms of actually working, but it's the least logical in terms of... Um, yeah, like, it's too much. It's too much of a hat. But also, it's the only way the Xenomorph could truly wear the hat. Because neither option is really fashionable or comfortable for the Xenomorph. Unless he, like... Puts it on the middle of his head and has like the string holding it together. Is that you know you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Man, that's a good question. I, I mean, I figured it. Yeah, how shit. how would dog wear pants all over again? Um, just the back, just the hind legs. I mean, that's you're not. Opinion. You're not a. No, yeah. I, oh, I can agree. With that. Tim, I know. Look, you're not... 
Uh, uh, what's up, Kevin? I know you guys aren't watching the stream right now, but this Lickitung boost emblem, this Lickitung stanced up. <laughs> this Lickitung's looking like he's ready to. <laughs> he's like do ready to rumble. He's like, what'd you say about he's my gonna... tongue? <laughs> he's gonna do things with that tongue that I'm never gonna forget, and no matter how much therapy I get. I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm gonna send it to the the group chat so y'all understand what I'm looking at. I'm looking at him right now. Yeah, he is ready to fuck you. <laughs> he's like he's let's... ready to rumble. Kevin, <laughs> he's ready to rumble. Playing David Arquette. <laughs> I love it. He's like, oh boy. Uh, in a bit I didn't see coming, but I kind of appreciate the discourse. People are saying that, like, because they like how well executed the Xenomorph's flame turrets are, they now are, like, bringing up a lot of criticisms about the Singularity's EMPs. For context, yeah. like, this, with the Singularity, like, he can tag you with these little pods that allow him to do, like, a certain degree of teleportation to you. But there's these chests scattered all over the map with EMP wands that players can grab. And they basically have no reason not to hold on to one at all times. Uh, like, it doesn't, in, like, impair you at all or anything to the effect that you can use it really easily. Whereas with the flame turrets, like, you're actively, like, kind of encumbered while you're carrying it. And so you have, like, reason to just grab it when you want it and use it when you can, rather than, like, holding on to it the entire match. Yeah, that's what confused me a lot. Oh my god, that's a pumpkin. Another twin set. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I also have my detective in arms. Oh, actually we got a lot of... Oh, we got a lot of all-arounders. I can be an attacker! I can be Hip-Hop Pikachu for once! Yeah, no, it seems like the thirst memes for the Xenomorph Queen skin mostly come from the fact that it seems they gave it an ass. Your silence is deafening. I mean... Sorry, I was texting somebody. I, I was not I, prepared for that. This is a... How do you get it what, th This is a charity <laughs> stream. Why are we talking about <laughs> that alien's ass? <laughs> hey, hey. Horny people have money, too. I guess you're right. Oh, we're not showing it. Unfortunately, those horny people are willing to pay a lot of money. Oh, I was not. Oh, they yeah, wanted a speed is. type. I mean, Pikachu Hold is on. a speedy boy, but I don't think they wanted Pikachu. Here you go. I'm gonna go in the middle. I guess I'm jungle. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> hate the question I'm gonna ask. <laughs> That's it. You realize how thirsty monster fuckers are with or without the ass, right? The ass is a bonus. That's not much of a butt, though. But it's more butt than the regular Xenomorph has. This is not a alley I expected to go down today. <laughs> Nobody expected to be here, yet here we are. I thought this was gonna be like... You I mean, thought she was gonna have level. fucking Nicki Minaj ass or some shit? No, like Pyramid Head level ass, you know? I mean, they nerfed Pyramid Head's cake. But you know what I'm That's the saddest about. statement I've ever heard. Isn't it? Because he also has a birthday. So, like, they nerfed his cake and then they probably nerfed his cake. Yeah. Um, do you know who else got their cake nerfed? But this is like years old uh, drama at this point. Uh, Solid Snake <laughs> in Smash Brothers. Real quick, did you see the video Jake posted in shit posting of the guy fucking with people on uh, fucking chat? Oh. But yeah, yeah, I've seen that guy before. He's great. I know, I've seen him before. I love him every time he shows up. <laughs> this is a really funny gag. I have never seen Buzz Swole in action, by the way. This is my what? first time fighting a Buzz Swole. He's one of the ultra beasts that I always forget exists. There's a Lapras. Speaking of horny things. I was gonna say, he also made people uncomfortably horny when he came out. Oh See, god, Mewtwo's. No. 
Oh, he's immune to Electro Web? What? He shouldn't be immune to Electro Web. Get fucked, bro. Well, I mean, this is literally my first time fighting a Mewtwo. A lot of firsts today. <laughs> Oh, and he's Mewtwo Y now? Mewtwo X? Ooh, I watched a pretty decent indie movie today. Oh, what movie? Brigsby Bear. Brigsby Bear? Why does that sound familiar? That's the movie with oh, the new cat. I remember. Yes, I remember this now. Yeah, with Kyle Mooney from SNL. Like, it's not great, but, like, I liked it a lot from what I did watch. I'm like, you know what? This is a pretty solid little comedy drama. Uh, it's got a lot of SNL people in it. It's got Andy Samberg. It's got, I think, Beth Bennett? Or Beck Bennett, I think his name is. Heck yeah. One point. Let me actually just double check the cast real quick. I should. Yeah, no. Beck Bennett. Uh, Jack, you know him better as Launchpad McQuack. Oh, yes. Uh, Matt Walsh. Not that Matt Walsh. Or whatever. What's that guy's name? The old cuck. I think that's Matt Walsh. No, it's, it, there's two Matt Walshes. So it's not the one that is like a piece of shit. I said there's a lot of SNL people on this show, and... For this movie, and I'm only seeing three, so I do apologize for that. But Mark Hamill. <laughs> so I made it up with Mark Hamill. Yes, as, you a, did. as a child kidnapper. Oh. Oh. Uh, for Speaking you know of child movie? abduction. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, what'd y'all think of the FNAF trailer? Oh. Yeah. I got so concerned. <laughs> it was good. I, I. It's funny, like. Every time, like, new stuff for this movie comes out, it triggers this little part of my brain from when I was a teenager that was obsessed with this shit when it first came out. Yeah. That was good. It's good. The movie was like, fun. I have a good feeling. The part of me that still obligatorily watches Matt Cat videos, not even because I even believe half the shit he says, but just because I enjoy listening to the discourse. Ah. Uh, poison. Poison berry. Um, also... Be being a kid was thinking boys and berries were called boysenberry and being shocked that anyone would eat them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I'm, I was the same way. Also, real quick, Tim Heidecker is also in the movie, as well as Nicholas Rutherford. I don't know if you guys know who the last one is. Hold no. on. He was in a Rooster Teeth show a little while back called, uh... What was it? It was not good. Crunch Time. That's what it was. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, it, it wasn't good. It was a very mean-spirited comedy for the Rooster Teeth, which is... Oh, I know that's a weird complaint, but... He was also so, in Bloodfest. Yeah, I don't remember him in Bloodfest, though, if I'm being honest. But just means he's, like, done a few different projects with Rooster Teeth. For, for context for what Rigsby Bear is about, it's about Kyle Mooney playing a grown man with basically a child's mind, if we're being honest. Hmm. And he's obsessed with a TV show called Rigsby Bear. But his parents won't let him leave the house, and they say, like, oh, the, the air outside's poisonous. But he always sees his dad go out there with a the gas mask, like, what, what is going on here? And then one day, the cops show up, arrest his parents, and he finds out that he was kidnapped as a baby, uh -huh. and was basically held hostage. And also, the show Brigsby Bear wasn't a real TV show. His dad, his fake dad, was making it to keep him occupied there, basically. Sounds about right. It sounds really fucked up, and I promise you, it is. Wait, so Mark Campbell is the fake dad? Yes. Huh. And he plays it so well. People forget Mark Campbell can play bad guys. Mark Campbell is a plays good Joker. Actor. Well, I mean, yeah, but like, we're talking about real acting, Kevin. I keep forgetting this Mewtwo no smite. That was the most dickhead thing I could ever say about voice acting. It really is. I was gonna say <laughs> something. <laughs> no, voice acting is real acting. Come on. You're, you're yeah. telling me the delivery changes because you're not on camera? No. Oh, so I'm probably gonna make a video about it tomorrow. I was gonna do David and just run all over the place this evening. Uh, yeah. But we gotta look inside of 
the Horror Nights tribute store this year. Ooh. Oh, cool. Uh, any, any good grabs or? Oh, fantastic. It's, you're going into a horror comic. Oh. That's why the exterior is a general store Whoa. with signs on the windows for comics and collectibles. That's cool. I just bought a Nightmare on Elm Street comic book from like the fucking 90s. This is cool. But, uh, like it, it looks fantastic. Universal posted a whole like highlight reel of the inside on their social media. Also, uh, obligatory Boris Schuster reference. Well, which one is that? The last one? Oh, the right. second. The second one uh, yeah. is a reference to Boris Schuster, who's a recurring background character in some different horror night stories. I actually am very familiar with the character because I've listened to um, not, not even just from you. I know it from um, last podcast annual pass actually oh really okay they, they would do horror nights and they would talk about all the different stories and he was always brought up at least a few times was the remind me was the last one that he was part of was it the one with the witches running a speakeasy or was that not him i think that was him hmm. but i might be wrong it's been a while also, a uh, fun fact, I don't know if this predates his inclusion in Horror Nights or, like, if this was the inspiration for the character idea, but in the New York section of Universal's main park in Orlando, uh, you actually can see a window for Boris Schuster Investigations. Okay. Again, he's just this, like, Kevin, for context, Boris Schuster is this recurring character of just this, like black and white era like private eye like that usually ends up caught in the middle of these like period piece like horror stories for horror nights houses yeah no that's it oh okay <laughs> let's see I'm gonna I heard I'm silence and I thought I got disconnected from discord oh he probably has a page on uh, horror nights wiki yep yeah he does you guys ever like work out and it made right. it doesn't matter Sorry. real quick uh the first time he appeared was the bloody mary year which there seems to be quite a few references to that this year or at least mm. in the tribute store there's quite a few references to that because also uh the um the window sign uh was for mcpherson collectibles and comics and collectibles which references Charlie McPherson, who was also a character in the Bloody Mary story. Wait a second, McPherson's yeah. not there. Or Horror Night. So, do we, have, again, do we have an idol for this year yet, or no? Uh, the icon, I believe, is... Uh, why am I blanking? What the fuck? Did he repeat Rob Bellow. icon? It's not Rob uh, Oddfellow is a key figure in Jack the Clown's backstory. Got it. Do, do they usually uh, bring back icons or no? Or it's just like oh, quite no, a bit. And... Like uh, a couple years ago, they had like all oh, like they had a house where at the like it was featuring a lot of the highlight icons, and at the end uh, there would be a throne where it would like rotate like which icon was sitting on the throne having beaten the others. Did Eddie but, uh, ever get his time in the limelight? I don't know if Eddie was part of that house, but he was part of the scare zone uh, when I went a few years ago. Well, because I remember you mentioning, like, Eddie was supposed to... No, Eddie's gotten player. back a few times. He even got his own house uh, during the Sweet 16 year. But he got canceled for one year. Cause well, cause, so basically, uh, he was supposed to be the mascot in 2001. Got it. Yeah, that's all you need to hear. They came up with this whole backstory of Jack's brother, Eddie, and how he was going to have his own maze called Run, uh, which was going to be kind of like a running man, like death games thing. Uh, but again, 9-11. And suddenly they had to scramble to tone down like the violence and all that just to not appear insensitive. And they ended up just reverting back to Jack the Clown for that year. Got it. All I needed to know. 
Also, I, I know I called it idols instead of icons. My mistake. No, that's fine. Uh, but no, as for yeah. Dr. Oddfellow, he's actually a very key figure in the backstory of Jack the Clown, a.k.a. Jack Schmidt. Because you see, when Jack the Clown was an actual clown with a circus, it was Dr. Oddfellow's circus. Yeah, okay. Basically, uh, what happened was Jack was always a murderous clown. He was insane from a very young age to the point where he and his brother basically grew up in a mental asylum. And, and Oddfellow really covered it all up, right? Well, no, so here's the thing. So while he was performing as Jack the Clown with Oddfellow's Circus, he was still killing people. But one at one point, while they were on the road, the cops were closing in on Jack, and he went to Oddfellow to try to get him to hide him. But Oddfellow had his own deal where he had also been performing some fucking atrocities behind the scenes for reasons that are actually going to be elaborated on this year. And he needed to, like, get the cops away from him by proxy of Jack. So he Got killed it. Jack and stuffed him into a, like, big prop Jack in the box. Uh, along with all of Jack's victims. Flash forward, uh, the cops could never find anything. So flash forward years later, Oddfellow's Circus is basically abandoned and some kids, some teenagers come across the box where Jack's body was kept. And being that it's a giant Jack in the box, one of them gets the idea to like crank it up. And when they do, Jack's body literally launches out of it and bounces around. But after that, it's clear that his soul was unleashed. And that's when Jack the Clown first became the mask, the icon at Horror Nights. So, you know, real bright and happy. Yeah. Actually, when, uh, when Jack made his big return in like the mid 2010s uh the implication was that he had knocked off dr oddfellow and taken over the circus to form the carnival of carnage hold up i need to update you guys that's not important they cgi'd ezra miller's ass in the flash <laughs> to make it fatter he got too flat an ass he, they got too flat an ass they really do have a flat ass it's it's not even that it's a flat ass, it's just a normal butt. It's like, look, it's fine. Barry can have a normal butt. He doesn't need Barry to call him ass out. is not caked up enough. Actually, now that I think about it, the flash should have cake. That makes sense. It's all lower body shit. Anyway. So, Jack, you jumping in on this, or? <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nah>. Okay. <laughs> Frankly, the second he stops talking, I'm going back into Horror Nights lore. All right. <laughs> So basically, uh, after Jack was revived uh, and like was doing his usual shit uh, at Hollywood in Horror Nights 10, uh, like which uh, or, sorry, not that bleh, ignore me. But no, um, after Jack was revived and all that, he eventually did get caught and was locked up in Shady Brook Rest Home in the Sanitarium, which uh, is the setting for a couple of really good. Uh, Horror Nights houses uh, But after he escaped He went out to seek revenge on Oddfellow For having him murdered And in the dark of night he stalked into the tents And took it, uh, revenge on Oddfellow Killing him And uh, took Oddfellow's uh, Silver headed cane of souls uh, Which Time to explain Oddfellow's deal Like I said he had been performing some atrocities of his own Because Oddfellow was obsessed with the idea Of his own mort immortality Mm -hmm. and was basically performing a number of different things to try to prolong his own life. Uh, the Cane of Souls was one key to that. And in fact, all of the scare zones at Horror Nights this year are going to be themed to Oddfellow's various ventures into seeking immortality. Uh, this time seemingly like being obsessed with the power of the Zodiac and uh, how that somehow will draw hit, like power to him or something. I don't know. That reminds me of um, one of the th uh, thrown out ideas for Freddy versus Jason, mm -hmm. where Freddy was going to summon the powers of Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, and Jeffrey Dahmer to help him come back to life. That was a genuine idea they had for that movie. Your silence is deafening. 
No, I also just remembered that uh, this one of this year's scare zones, while they are tying the lore into Oddfellow, is going to be the return of a very funny to me recurring uh, scare zone, and that is Vamp. Specifically, the first one was Vamp 55, uh, which uh, was located in the Hollywood section of the park and basically was set themed to a 1950s homecoming parade infested with vampires. It was then succeeded by Vamp 85, New Year's Eve. And this year will be succeeded even further by Vamp 69, Summer of Blood. It was the Summer of Basic 69. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Basic <laughs> this one being like Woodstock based. It's basically take us to a bunch of different points throughout the 20th century where it would be very funny to have vampires in there. Absolutely. People are really liking Dubus Dubus's Freddy Fazbear video. Oh, he made a new one? I didn't know that. <laughs> well, the one where he's just telling Freddy to get the fuck out. Get out of my room, I'm playing FNAF. Yeah, no, it's really- oh my god, I just, I've only just now seen, like, the the walk-around actor for Oddfellow. He looks terrifying, I love it. Hold on. There you go. Oh my. I, I actually can't see it, I can't. Oh, I do not like that- those teeth. <laughs> it's always sharp. the teeth, isn't it? Super unsettling. Do I have water pulse? Yeah, I have water pulse. Okay, so water pulse is followed up by a roll. Interesting. But no, like, he's been a character that's been mentioned since Jack was first introduced in, uh, Hall in at Halloween Horror Nights 10 in 2000. Uh, where, obviously, he was mentioned as part of the backstory, and then also one of the houses, which was Jack's, like, introductory house, was Dr. Oddfellow's Fear House. Get it, like, Funhouse? Yep. But with fear, because fear is cool. I don't know. Fear is actually his own character with Horror Nights. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. I knew that. Ah, uh, you know, a lot of people go to Horror Night for fear. Well, he was made the big mascot for the 20th year of the event. Basically, like, framing him as, like, a puppet master who's been influencing, like, the creation and running of the event for years. Real quick, do they have a Mario Direct tomorrow? Maybe. Is it the one they talked about when they announced the voice thing? Yeah. It's either tomorrow or sometime this weekend, right? I don't know. I don't remember if they mentioned a specific date. Well, you know what they have to end it on, right? Hmm. Wario and Waluigi will be playable in Wonder. They oh, have, that's optimistic have, of you. It's, it's the most un, un... It's only unrealistic because it's Nintendo. And they, don't, and they won't do it. I want to see Shiga not. I almost said Shigaru Myramo, but no. Shigaru Myramo. Shigaru Myramo. No. Mashed potato, potato samurai. Of course. I Wouldn't hate. it be samurai mashed potato? No, because it's. I'm saying it's Shigeru Miyamoto. Oh no no no! Fuck! God damn it! I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying Masahiro Sakurai. Oh. Mashed potato samurai. All right. It's the gyro. <laughs> Mia Mai. Gyro? You got gyros? I love gyros, dude. They're yeah. So good. Pronounced gyro. Um, I'm not Greek, so I don't care. Get into the Greek, man. Don't. I hate that movie. Not a good movie. It's not. I, I, I feel... I've, never, I've never seen it, and I have no intention of ever seeing it. I honestly... Don't know why you would, honestly. It's a Sarah Marshall spinoff, right? But I've also never seen Sarah Marshall, so. I also just don't really care for Russell Brand's brand of comedy. Oh, yeah. And Jonah Hill kind of gives me the ick now, so there's that. Honestly, the, the ending to that movie is weird. 
I mean, yeah. Oh, right. Shoot. Uh, also key to the 20th anniversary year and, like, part of how, like, fear was unleashed on the park was the scrapped icon of Cindy Kane. Uh, oh. So Cindy was originally conceptualized to be uh, the icon for the first year they held the event at Islands of, of Adventure, the Islands of Fear year, uh, which was uh, 2002. Um, but again, similar to Eddie, due to some actual real-life child abductions, they thought creepy kid mascots probably not the way to go. No. So they put Cindy on the back. But lore-wise, she was going to be the daughter of the caretaker, Albert. Um, flash forward a few years, um, she would appear in Halloween Horror Nights 13 in the house Scream House Revisited, which was, the Scream House was always, was the collector's signature house. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, meaning, intended to be his home. Mm -hmm. Um, but then, in uh, 2010, the 20th anniversary of the uh, event, she appeared in Fear Revealed, which was obviously Fear's signature house, and then also in uh, her own house, the Orphanage, Orphanage spelled O-R-F-A-N-A-G-E, Ashes to Ashes. She's appeared again in references in the 2015 25th anniversary event uh, at Jack Presents 25 Years of Monsters and Mayhem and Icons Following Horror Nights. And yeah. in 2021 in the Welcome to Scary Horror, Horror in the Heartland House. Although those were only more as like Easter eggs rather than full appearances. Real quick, two things. One, I clicked out of Twitter... And before it closed down, I saw an image of Cthulhu about to fight a shark, and now I'm really mad because I really wanted to look at that more. <laughs> I'll never see it again. Unfortunately, it, your views are gone, so what are you going to do? Second, um, have you guys seen... So you guys know about the Checkered Pass thing, right? Elaborate. So Checkered Pass is a block on Cartoon Network. And, well, actually, let me be frank. It's a block on Adult Swim. Mm where they just replay old Cartoon Network shows. So what Boomerang used to be. Yeah, except instead of old Hanna-Barbera, it's old Cartoon Network. And I know Boomerang did that later down the line, but this is more so fitting, I feel. I get you. Uh, and since it's Adult Swim, and you know Adult Swim, they have really good... Um, what's the word? Like when they when they're going into like the commercials, but it's not like a commercial. Oh, fake outs? No, not fake out. Oh, God. Point is, they have a bumper. It, it's a bumper. Uh, they made bumpers of Ed and Nettie waiting at a train station. Double D is beatboxing. Ed is dancing, and Eddie is just waiting for the train to get there so this could be over. Yep. And it, they made a series of it. It's fun. I like it. It's it's exactly what I want them to do with that kind of thing. Good. Hopefully, other Cartoon Network shows get that same type of representation. Ah. Is that a Chowazard? It's a Chowazard. It's going to yeah. Dowazard. It's dead. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Look, I know Dinosaur is a Jurassic Park reference. Mm -hmm. It'll always be a dead meat reference to me. Azumarill should be a tank, honestly. Oh, um, what Meryl uh, uh, evolves into? Yeah. I mean, kinda. It's a lot bigger than I would anticipate it to be. 
Well, the thing with Azumarill is, Azumarill may have, like, low attack, but it always, like, crits in this game. Kevin, were you top of your team that match? Yeah, I'm actually good at this game. Hold on, my update finished. I'm proud of you, Kevin. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way I said that. It's like Dad's real proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, like game has to explain boost emblems to me because that's how long it's. It's just like equipment. It's just like fancier word for equipment. Don't worry about it. I play for with like bare right? minimum. Just... If you have six. Oh, oh. If you have six normal emblems, sorry, let me explain this real quick. If you have six normal emblems, it will increase your health. If you have six grass emblems, it increases your special attack, etc., etc. It's also in tune with, like, the gear items you have. So it's just more things Pokemon wants to, like, get you into the gacha for. So basically, Pokemon Unite has become a gacha game now. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's not shocking to me. Of course not. It's really not, honestly. The fuck was it? Um, I should have gone for Pirate Cinderace. I don't know why I'm going for Cromorant. See, okay, so that confirms to me that it's the same across the board, because I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Wait, when did we do a Dead by Daylight for Maui? Was that Yesterday, last night? yeah. Last night, yeah. Oh. Uh, we yeah, I wasn't here. For it. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't really well, add. Game more game game out. Well, we went. I went to a Taco Tuesday night at my brother's in-laws' place, which led to me being the designated driver, so I couldn't leave. So yeah, I was stuck there till like eleven. <laughs> nah, that's all right. I understand. You just don't oh. like charity. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Can all have me more. Obama himself gave me an award for my charity acts. Anyway. Yeah. Anyways, that after one awkward joke later. Obama. Soda. <laughs> God damn it. I, the best part about that is the is the Undertale music just starts playing after. No, the hopes and dreams one. You fool. Yeah, yeah that's first of all one of the best final boss themes ever. Of course, it is the dopest. I cannot wait. Yeah. To hopefully Filter. get. You know, you, do you know what it fills me with, Kevin? Determination. Don't do fucking determination, man. Determination. Oh, and don't start anything yet, because there's so many fucking Pokemon since I last played. Don't worry about it. You know what? Let me buy a new champion while I'm at it. As in, let me figure out how to do this. Uh, I don't want to exit lobby. Right stick. That's right. Ugh. Oh, I guess they made a bumper for courage too. I'm not really sure. That was actually that was a really good courage impression. I cannot see how much money I have. <laughs> I have something two seven nine. But no, that was a pretty good courage impression. Oh my god, that's, that's that's freaking, his voice Chandler's, actor was Chandler's magician outfit. His hat is made of balloons. Yeah. Aww. Did I tell you guys, um, Courage's voice actor was at the Secret Stash recently? And I did not oh. meet him. Yeah. No, let me just, just me, I would have loved to have met him, but I just was not around that weekend. But my buddy Brandon said he's a really sweet guy. Yeah. So, this just in. I don't know how much money I have. <laughs> this just in. It's the Courage the Cowardly Dog Show! I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. it's alright. I encourage the Cowardly Dog! Oh my god, how did I get 16,000 coins? <laughs> Abandoned as a pup. 
He was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere. With her husband, oh, Eustace Bag. Yeah. A creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up for courage to save his new home. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. And then there's that random what at the end of the theme song. I'm oh, sorry, what? They also have regular Mew, huh? Yeah. yeah. You know what? I have 16,000. What 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 champion should I buy? Mew. Alright, fine. I'll buy five. Wait. They have Caesar? Like they have Caesar. Caesar. You want Caesar? Yeah. We'll get some Caesar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, fundamentally, one of the coolest Pokemon ever. Yes. And that's why it's other garbage, but. I mean, of course. His the stats are utter about, garbage. The one thing I learned about com competitive Pokemon is this shit doesn't matter. None of this shit actually matters. Uh, someone got upset at finals by throwing in Pachi Risu, so. Um. Look, I'm just saying, you can you can win competitive Pokemon if you know how to use B Dude. I'm just saying. Uh yeah. I know. You're I talking to the Badoom Slayer owner, so. <laughs> How's that going? Uh that might be the birthday stream. So we'll have to wait until September? Pretty much. Oh wait, it's tomorrow. Shit. Kevin, get ready. <laughs> I have two weeks. I know. I'm just going to crank it out. We, 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 sorry. Okay, I, hold on. Chris, I have to understand. Chris and, I were, Chris and I were scheduling to film the rest of um, Running Late. And I was like, oh, yeah, let's do this weekend in September. That's perfect. Only to find out I'm not going to be around that weekend because I have a vacation planned. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, no. And I no, not, back no, I'm so sorry. That was so poorly timed. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. I know what you mean. I fucking... Because I was like, okay, uh, these two dates, this is perfect. And we reached out to our crew and our actors, and they are like, yeah, that works. And then I was telling my mom, like, yeah, yeah, we're doing it this and then. And then my mom was like, you are not going to be here at that point. Like, what do you mean? She goes, are you fucking stupid? You are... <laughs> going on a trip with your dad and your brother and I'm like oh shit it's that weekend oh I don't want to say what it is on stream um but yeah so whoops Yep. <laughs> had to drop that hammer down on everybody it's like hey I'm not gonna be there I really wish I was cause this is the big one Okay. Looks like Caesar doesn't have many changes to it. Okay. I'll I'll go for Caesar. Looks like caesar has got um mousers on his hands from Ninja Turtles. You're right. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Or no? Yes. I'm ready for a good time. Uh, oh my uh, god, it's one of the Snorlax doubles. Love those. Do I have to I'm ready good. up or something? Uh, I have to hit start. Kevin and I were talking about this earlier. Snorlax is easily, like, top ten Pokemon ever made. Yeah. Wait. Oh. oh. I'm in Ultra Tier, you're in Great Tier, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I'm an expert, so... Uh, I don't think the disparity is too bad. As long as you know somewhat what you're doing, you should be okay. <laughs> Look at us, default posing motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, let's let's go Caesar. I wonder if they'll follow up. No, we need a defender. Okay, that's fine. Can I Mammoth just pick defender race because I just got a new skin for him. Is it the pirate one? Yes, it's the pirate one. I don't judge you. That's completely it, understandable. It also, 
his pre-evolutions also wear pirate outfits. It's what? great. I said I don't judge you. I agree. Ugh, crap, cowboy Cramorant. Oh, yeah. Top half Tyranitar. I just noticed the crustal on the other team with the little fucking ribbons all over him. I love it. Yeah. He's just like, the wedding cake is done. And Crustle's like, this is my home now. <laughs> I am the wedding cake. <laughs> I am the chocolate lava cake. All right. Uh, let's see where they go. All right. Uh, looks like you're on your own. I feel like Cromorant and I should switch, but it should be okay. They're all up there, aren't they? Uh, I'm kicking the shit out of Machamp, or Machop here. Ah, uh, yes. Wow. Machop, huh? My head almost made the wrong joke. I'm sorry. Yeah. And it's dead. Oh, I need help. Well... That's not Come really on, up I'm to dead. me right now. Come on, I'm dead. I killed him. Good job. Fine. Sweet. I somehow managed to hit the Tyrant. Tyrant. Tyrant? Tyrant. Tyrant. Tyranny. Oh, that Cromorant is dead. And so am I. Kind of. Nope. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I A. It's not a 3v1, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Ow. I lived, so I it's fine. Yeah, you evolve, but you don't digivolve, so that's... There's a difference. I mean, if only. But then, you... I mean, I guess it would be entertaining to see, uh... Baby. It'd be very entertaining to see, uh... Pikachu or Cinderace and... No, wait, actually, you got the Cinderace jorts, so... Because you chose the pirate skin, so Cinderace, I think, gets jorts, pretty much. So you did it. You're a Digimon. Ah... Uh. Also, apparently they got rid of this, but when you're Swine Up and you dash into an Ice Crystal, crystal, I'm supposed to carry it and then smash it, but they got rid of it. Oh, they left me alone to die. Oh no, they left me alone to die. Just kidding. You fool. You fool. You're never safe when there's a pillow swine on the field. Ow. Ow. Stop. No. <laughs> Stop. Everyone's so mean. Hey, oh. oh, good job. Oh, wait, no, that's down here. Good job, still. Ah, oh, shit, I died. Damn it. You said a piratey line and then immediately got killed, didn't you? Um, no, Machoke showed up. This Tyrant- this Tyrant's still level 4, by the way. So does it evolve into Puppetar? Puppetar, you mean? Yes. I always called it Puppetar, though, because it's cuter sounding. Because well, it's supposed to be a pupa. Yeah. Oh, I hit a wall. Oh no, I hit a wall. Kill him! Kill him! Get him! Ooh, kill him. Ooh, ooh, kill him! Get him, him Jesus! Get Buddha! <laughs> I mistook it for the other. Earth. 
No. Deny. Sit down. I'm gonna head back to the base and heal up. <laughs> Alright, cool. But I got my unite move. Not the base, just like the station here. I see. Wait, do I get to choose if I evolve into Caesar or Scyther? Is that how that works? I don't know, but we just got uh, Reggie Lecky on our side. Yep. I was there. Crustal! Kill him! Oh my god! Pirate... <laughs> Pirate Cinderace's ball is replaced by a giant helm wheel. Nice. Oh, this is adorable. I love everything about it. Oh yeah, no. It's easily one of the best skins. I'm just gonna score real quick while they're distracted. Close the pack, Sam. I'm dead. Um, what's up? Did you guys hear that CNN will have news alerts pop up during HBO Max uh, screenings? What? What? <laughs> Suppose that doesn't sound real. It sounds fake. <laughs> yeah. well, oh, they're all up top. They're all up top. Of course, they're all up top. They saw us kill. But yeah, they're basically saying if you're watching something on Max, there's they're gonna start testing it. Like, oh, hey, just so you know, something's happening. Oh shit! So also, sorry. Uh, did you see McConnell had another episode? Yeah. They they've got to fucking do something. They can't just keep ignoring this. Like, we've been saying that for years, that was for other reasons. Yeah, no, you should fucking step down. Well, apparently, they, some people have approached him in the past about stepping down due to his age, and he got real upset about that, apparently. Oh, yeah. Bro, you're 81. I don't know what to tell you, old men just don't want to retire. They're all up tough, aren't they? Uh, Tyranitar and Crustal are. Yeah, uh, so bad news. Can you stall? No. Can you stall, though? No, I'm You're dead. You're not a ghost-type Pokémon? Nope. Just a dead Pokémon. Oh. That's fine, we can- we can stop them. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. I can snipe it. But we're not a team, are we? We're a time bomb. Yeah, I can snipe them. Okay. I'm gonna hide. You're so stealthy. I am a giant mammoth. I can hide in this grass. You wanna help me kill Reggie Lucky? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. We're going to lose, and they're going to take it, but you know what? It's it's fun, because we're here together, playing a game, as friends, for charity. You were saying? We didn't kill Three it in time. Here. Go, go, go. Honestly, they're probably pushing, so we should probably help them, because if they die, we're fucked. You see what I mean? Actually, no, never mind. We should just kill it. I believe in us and our ability to fucking crush this shit. Uh, just gonna spam the Unite move real quick. I want to make sure we really got it. Okay. Oh, uh, they're all down here. Here, let's back Perfect. them up. Perfect. Got him! Yep. And look at this top hat son of a gun. It's not gonna protect you. Get back here. Oh, he also ulted. Oh, I'm also being ulted. But I have my ult. Yeah, good job. And they're dead. Oh, wait, we can just score now, that's right. Uh, oh, I, got a lot of, I got a lot of points here. I got your back. Boom. 
You see? I told you to get into the swing of it. Now let me just, uh... Well, admittedly, this is pretty, like, straightforward as far as MOBAs go. Yeah, yeah. It's really easy to get back into. The League of Legends, I cannot anymore. Like, my friend was like, one day was like, Hey, Kevin, you want to try League of Legends again? And because it's like a work friend. I'm like, sure, I can do something with work friends on the weekends. And then I looked at the shop. <laughs> and I was like, oh god, what is happening here? <laughs> so that's when I learned... In a weird way, I think this fills the same kind of, like, MOBA-like space as Heroes of the Storm does. Yeah. Just a kind of dumbed down, easy to jump into MOBA. I miss Heroes of the Storm sometimes. I miss when everyone got mad when I died as Murky, even though I count as one-fourth of all their XP. <laughs> Damn! It wasn't even close. Hey, MVP! Yeah! yeah. Hey. Mammal Swine is probably my best character. Damn it, I was behind you by two points. Yeah. I'm a veteran now. That sounds really bad out of context, doesn't it? <laughs> Stolen Valor! Nice. Did I ditch you? I think I ditched you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you hit return to the lobby, didn't you? Or return to home, or whatever. I hit return to lobby, was that not what I was supposed to do? It's weird. Well, still, I got a lot of shit to go through before I jump in, so... Of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <sighs> Wario gonna win. Wario gonna win. I think the nope, never mind. Okay, I was worried the game crashed, but nope. This the for some weird reason all the uh... oh, I am a one hundred percent fair play person. Let's see. Are there any ad other adorable pirate skins? Uh, no, not really. The one I missed out on was the Mammoth Swine Knight skin, which makes me upset. I want you to know that when you said no, not really, I was looking at the Greedent skin. Oh my or, god. That is pirate theme. Oh like, god. Damn, okay. You know what? Uh, just don't hit the battle pass, now that I think about it. <laughs> I just realized that's the battle pass right is all now. pirate themed. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm looking at right now. Zacian uh, has a pirate skin. I don't know what you're talking about, clearly. They do not. The sword legendary. No, I mean, I'm trying to be facetious. Like, I totally didn't see that earlier, and then just forget about it. There's a Mewtwo old... board game in here. Yeah, that's to unlock Mewtwo, the Y edition. Nothing much, we're just checking shit out right now. But, uh, nah. I do want to say, I went to the dentist, and, uh, I was slowly, like, trying my best to not, like, fall back. Because the dentist, like, I don't know, I guess it was a very short dentist compared to me. But, like, I was at, like, 45 degrees, just, like, hanging on for dear life. Damn, Kevin, okay. Come out of the I was gonna say, height-shaming the fucking dentist. Well, 
I mean, I wasn't height shaming. I was just at like 45 degrees for some weird reason. Like, they're yeah, probably normal the height. Person, Kevin, the only person that's okay to height shame is Ben Shapiro. Oh, for a limited time only, I have the Zacian skin. For a limited yeah, time. Yeah, I just got that too. Yeah. I think it's just to, like, coerce you into participating with the event. No, it's to coerce you to buy it. And to buy the battle pass. Yeah, I know, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, of course. So you want to do, like, one more round before we close it off? Sure. Yeah. Let me just finish sorting all this out. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no? I think I'm too good for you. Wow, yeah. okay, then. <laughs> no, literally, that's what the game's telling me. It's like, this player is not eligible. And I'm like... We literally just had a match together. What the fuck does that mean? It means I'm a veteran it's now. <laughs> My eligible ranks are expert. We could probably do a quick match or standard, probably. Yeah, there we go. We can't do ranked, but we can do I mean, standard. I'm looking at if I can afford any Pokemon. Yeah. Why is Chandelure so expensive? Why do you want Chandelure? I like Chandelure. I'm just kidding. No, is cute. It's a fun concept for a Pokemon, too. Like, I know people are like, oh, a Lantern Pokemon. Uh, or not a Lantern, a Chandelier, rather. Well, again, well, yeah. well, his previous form is a Lantern, and his first form is a Candle, and it's like the idea of candles, like, flickering ominously in haunted places. Yeah. Yeah, it works. I want to say something, but it might ruin it. Go ahead, Kevin. I want, to, I want to swing from the chandelier. <laughs> from the chandelier. He's right, he did ruin it. Yeah. Chandelier. <laughs> chandelier. <laughs> like, Tim, like, the appeal of chandelier is, well, I guess you could say, wherever candlelights flicker, where the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present. Yeah. Are just in their terror with ghoulish delight. Yes, I did just find a random excuse to quote the Haunted Mansion. No, you can't stop me. Man. Every time I close out of the ZL menu, it's and it says I'm done. It like pops that bubble up saying you have something else. It, it don't. Just ignore it. Just leave it be. There's like a bunch of hidden menus and stuff. Don't look into it. I'm aware. They're everywhere. Just, just, just hop in. It's not ranked, but this is the only way we can play together right now. I just realized, does my character have socks on? No, doesn't look no. like. Unless they're like the really, really small ones that fit for those kind of shoes. Of course. So, I mentioned it earlier when I was talking about Horror Nights that a lot of uh, the tribute stores referencing this year is referencing uh, fucking, uh, the Bloody Mary year of the event. And that really is an interesting situation just because... Uh, that was an event oh, sorry. where they really went all out in trying to like create synergy between all the houses and scare zones into one united story. Jack, you're not using your third item slot. I know, I'm looking at that now. Hold on. If I can get it in time. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> 
leftovers. Fine. Just it's, to fill. it's an okay. It's okay. Just like Just I didn't fill. change it from potion. I should have gone attack, but you know, it's fine. Um, like every house tied into this original like backstory for the character of Bloody Mary. They had this whole like elaborate like marketing campaign leading up to a press event in the grand opening. Uh uh yep. Ultimately though, they could never use the character again because as they found out, someone apparently owns the trademark on Bloody Mary. I just also want to point out that it says die Kev. Damn Kev. That Charmander's okay. called Die Kev. I was not ready die. for this. Die it's like Die Kev. Die Kev. Die. No, it's like Die Kev. That's uh no yeah, it's Die Kev. You guys know the game Die Katana? Die it to Kevin. Die it to Kevin? Diet oh, Dr. Okay. Kevin. <laughs> Diet Dr. Kevin. Doc, Diet Dr. Roberts. Oh my god. Well, Kevin, I'm just not sure this is such a good idea. Well, that really is the- that is really Dr. Roberts Light. Or Dr. Roberts Zero, I should say. If we ever visit New Hampshire, can we just film a K.R.Ink episode where it's just Jack and I? Um, playing different iterations of Dr. Roberts yeah. from the multiverse. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I get to choose whether Weirdly I become... enough, I really adore Lampin's design. I don't know what it is, I just really love Lampin. Yep. Lampin. He's very... He's adorable. So, yeah... I do get to choose whether I'm Caesar or or, or Scyther. Do you mean, uh... Well, oh, God, I can't ever remember. The Axe one? No. No, that doesn't exist yet. It's literally just Caesar or Scyther. Oh, so you just have a choice of when... I guess because it's an item evolution, huh? I guess, yeah. Because they're like two different Pokemon. One is like a speedy one, this one's a defense one. I'm metal. So now my little things give me uh, defense upgrades. I'm a steel type now, ferret. Well, I don't. Okay, I shouldn't say that actually. There we go. We'll be me. Oh. They, did you... Did they lapant? I should have said this first, but did they lapant for their sins? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I have sword stance. Nice. This way. Yep. The reckoning has come. Oh, it's Rotom now. Or Rotom. Rotom. Akuna I always say Rotom just because it's like Rotor. Yeah, I say it should be Rotom, like dial up a Rotom. Yeah. You mean modem? Very no. no, no, no. There's, there's dial up Rotom. I know what I'm saying, for once. Do you? I'm pretty no, sure. I, I think, I'm almost certain he's right. Well, I'm thinking of like rotary phones, but I might be wrong on that. God damn, they are not standing a chance. Yeah. I think it's because like it's we... Kind of, it's kind of fucked how much we're bowling over that. I mean, if you want me to be brutally honest, it's probably because I kind of commonly play competitive. Because <laughs> I don't really care. Well, so you're just taking all the credit for yourself, I see. Well, you also do it, too. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's my ability? Holy shit. Why are there five of me? I'm 
Boom! Just don't look at the score. I mean, if anything, I'm gonna go help out Bot for a little bit. Yeah. I forgot I also have red buff now, whatever that does. Yeah, I'm gonna hop off here though, fellas. Not but a problem. Good have a good night! Good night. Also good double kale. Fucking disgusting what I'm doing up here. Oh. You're chandeluring them into a trap. <laughs> Uh oh, look out. Keep the pressure on it. No, nah, don't worry, we wiped them. It, it was fucking brutal. <laughs> oh man. No, I just saw keep the pressure on, and I was like, I'm coming. Because Caesar isn't exactly a fast boy, Caesar is, in fact, a slow boy. Yeah, I guess that's the gimmick. If I want speed, I go with Caesar. If I want, like, defense and, like, mobility, I go, uh... I go Scyther. No, you're not dying today. Get back here. No, you're not dying. You're not dying. I'll avenge you. <laughs> I'll avenge you, my friend. Damn, I'm actually doing pretty damn good. You thought you could sneak up here and get away with shit? Thanks. I, I'm going to die now, but it's fine. Or not. Caesar, Caesar lives, motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, that Chansey tried to sneak up here and do some sneaky shit. Yeah, I saw it. I uh, I basically fought their entire team. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, I fought their entire team and I survived enough for Rodham to get me points. Didn't I teach you anything last time? How many times you gotta teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> oh, it's Zapdos. I forgot Zapdos was one. It's been a while since I fought Zapdos. It's all about Rayquaza now. Kaboom! Do they just get... They chased me like idiots. Yep. So, um... We destroyed. Yeah, they gave up. <laughs> Let's see how bad it was. I need to get enough to get Chandelure permanently, because that was fun. I like Chandelure. Hell yeah, it's my time to shine. Nice. Turn to the lobby. And uh, thank you for joining us for day three of the charity stream. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to uh, donate, I guess. <laughs>
please donate. It genuinely it makes the world a difference. It genuinely, like, we literally, like, we say it a lot, but, like, literally actually do it, because, like, it'll help a lot of people loads. And that's just, like, an like, understatement. To, to say what has happened in Hawaii has been devastating to the people there is the biggest understatement of the year. Yeah. Like, any amount you can afford to give helps, and I'm not asking people who can't afford it to, like, go out of their way, I get it. But if you can't afford to give, it means the, the world of difference. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the better way of saying it, for sure. Yep. Uh, have a good night, everybody.